okay guys i'm here to give you a quick breakdown of how i made um this particular flyer let me just open it up so we're all on the same page all right so how i made this particular flyer all right uh, first to be one of my favorite flyers uh, in the whole month of may all right so i'm giving you guys a quick breakdown of how i did all of that all right so um this is a canvas you all know how i open up my art boards and how i set it up if you don't um i have a previous video i've done um showing you guys how you can open up your art board canvas like mine so you should check that out so i opened this ad board um with this particular color it's not actually white it's off white so this is the color code fffcf3 all right so it's actually off white not just white so then i started introducing texts of my baby's name his name is giovanni right so just got these fonts to be doing their thing here and so the name of this font is called anza right it's a free font you can go check it out online so i had it here i had it here i was just playing around with it and you know decided to position it where all of that so i have Giova, then this me ends it here all right so i also introduced the same font the same name but in another font right this is giovanni so the name of this font is extreme extreme that's the name of the font extreme all right so that's not about fonts then i skewed these giovanni fonts how do you skew ctrl t all right so once you press ctrl t on any particular thing you've chosen you right click then you see skew all right so with this skew you can move this this way you can move this this way so it was originally something like this all right then i skewed it to the way it's look like all right so yep so i have that there then i had the name again giovanni wishes your same skewing percentage then giovanni wishes your but one thing i want you to know is that the way the layers are arranged is not the way the design started or how the, the way the design went and all of that right so however way you choose to go about your design if it's background first picture first however it is to choose to do it you're totally right but it's all on you to know exactly what you need to do and what you want to do it's the finished result everybody's after nobody's really about how you got to do it and your style really just give us something we can look at and you know shake our heads to say yes this is real creativity right so i got some texts um i wrote in the design which i love doing all right so yeah that's what you have here and the name of this font is lexen so if you check now we've used about three fonts all right i've used about three fonts in this particular design so this is one this is two this is three so as i tell people there's really no limit to the number of fonts you can use in a particular design just get it to look presentable and agreeable then i introduced the main concept which is this um, um children's day thingy <clears throat> i did this design excuse me i did this design on um on illustrator adobe illustrator and i'll drop a tutorial of how i was able to accomplish that on adobe illustrator all right so um this is the giovanni this is this um text behind so it was definitely going to clash what i do i felt i needed something you know to really push on that and that would have the proper thing would have been an outline so what i do i duplicated this particular happy children's day how do i duplicate it ctrl j or command j so i have this is where it is here under here all right so now what did i do to get it to look this white so when you double click on any layer it opens you up to his layer style then i first of all made sure the color of the layer change the color of the layer generally to white all right the opacity is 100 normal right then i added a stroke around it right this is it without the stroke right so i did a stroke and the stroke my parameters are outside then size 51 pixels now your parameters can be anything right depending on what you want exactly then my color is still same white so as to give me 
this particular field around here all right the other ways to achieve it what is the way i wanted to go about it then i clicked on okay so as you can see it's here i have this particular so you can see this giovanni behind is not really um, causing any disruption right so i had to change this color to match up with this right. then i introduced the here and saturation filter right so these are my parameters minus four i took it down the hue a little bit then i pumped up the saturation a little bit then my lightness stays at zero right so i maxed it over this particular children's day right how do you max right click on that end layer then scroll down so you see creates clipping marks so if i click on this release clipping marks it would affect the whole design which is not what i want all right so i want it to affect only this children's day if I come down right click come down and say create clipping mask so it stays only on top of this right so i have this so you can see it's giving this with this as the same what color all right then i move further to i added a layer with this particular dotted um dotted line so what what did i do i added a, a color feel a solid color all right so about this color i clicked on okay then i came to filter then filter what gallery all right so convert to smart object so i'm able to edit what i want to edit um later on all right so first of my my action here was half tone all right half tone all right half tone so how do i get half tone you come to sketch under sketch on the normal once you open it it looks like this so you come to sketch when you get to sketch sorry you see half tone here so i have half tone here then you can adjust the parameters how big you want the dot to look like how small you want them to look like do you want the dot to be do you want it to be a circle all right do you want it to be a circular half tone all right so let me zoom out a little bit so you see you want to be a circular half tone you want it to be a line half tone however it is you want then you okay it once you okay it, it brings up that all right so that's what i have in this place filter gallery so um i reduced the opacity to 40 48 percent all right then the blend mode is at soft light so one thing we need to learn in this whole thingy about photoshop is that photoshop is a very very nice software and basically you have so much power when you know how to play with your blend modes and these blend modes help you practically function as a creative in photoshop or any of these um, um, design softwares so it helps you blend elements to look better and all of that so on a normal if i didn't blend it this is what it would normally look like after i've applied the this thing. let me turn off this mask this is what it looked like when i brought it from the filter gallery all right but i was able to blend it to give me this reduce the page to 48 percent um change the blend mode to soft light then it was the mask was um it was all over the students day and i didn't really want it all over i just wanted it at the edges and all of that sort so then what i what did i do i came to the particular layer itself then came down here to add vector mask so he added his vector marks for me here all right so and you're seeing on this um vector marks you're seeing some black stuffs here all right how did i i needed i needed it to get rid of the marks on some of these layers and make it not as harsh as it was before so i took my brush then over the mask all right i made sure my foreground is black and my background white because what i have here is white so black will go to white all right so i came with my brush so i increased my brush all right somewhere around here then make sure my flow was at 10 percent flow 10 percent then make sure i was using soft round brush okay then i came i painted all right i cleaned over this so if you notice well it's it's clean it up but it's gradual all right till i actually had what i needed all right that's what forms this whole black there so if i turn this if i disable this 
this is what i have if i enable it this is what i really want all right so that's not about that then next thing that came up was okay this is a shadow of um my favorite boy here i have i edited this on camera raw if you don't know how to edit with camera raw you can go up on my my very very um, old videos where i showed how to edit with camera raw so i edited this picture with camera raw right although it was already retouched by the photographer and all of that but i needed it to get to my taste so i edited with camera raw right then i added the shadow below right and what else did i do again and then to add some levels to get in more shadow into his face then i added a gradient map all right to color grid to fit into this background all right so what's on the gradient map just colors shades of brown all right to you know toughen up um, the textures on his face and all of that then have some ellipse I added here and there okay this ellipse is not meant to be here so is this meant to be somewhere here okay yeah this ellipse is meant to be on top here so this is ellipse here let me delete this then this is under ellipse I added somewhere here All right so that's about it then i added my logo about it very simple design but functional and sweet All right then on to the next artboard this is the next artboard second artboard right so second artboard is really quite let me explain everything from top all right so first i have this um, um color so the color this thing ffc852 um, i think this is called this is a shade of mustard or so i really don't know so for these colors i really, just really know what's the color of these colors all right so then um I added the names the same thing that was here just made a few changes right same name right giovanni but this one i changed the blending mode to what soft light right? because i needed it there not there at the same time so i changed it to soft light all right the same um, extreme font but with um, the color of this background or a different shade of color all right so that's how i got that then i have um, him the bigger size of his picture i duplicated it getting this big then i, I know they added a mask to clean off the wanted sides i didn't need with my brush tool right which i've explained before then um the blend mode of this is dark color right so that is what if i leave it as normal this is what it is right but i needed the font and all of that to really show into him and i didn't want to mask it so i said let me see any if any of blending mode to give me what i wanted so and this was perfect for me all right i still have his face and his body is just covered up with the text which is just sweet so you can try out to see what else works again but i doubt if there's anything that would work again all these things are looking demonic all right so this is not bad though but it's actually not what i wanted so this dark color just gave me exactly what i needed right so if you notice you can still even see some part of his clothes out here you can still see some part of his clothes out here and all of that you get which is actually very artistic right so i also now ha added his name giovanni right on top of his stuff and all of that, his clothes and all then um, the text I put it right at the top of his head here and then text is actually quite a little bit dim the opacity, yeah, the opacity is at 46 percent right it's there and it's not there at the same time that's basically the true test of art then this same um, um what you call it the same um uh, arts i did on illustrator all right then i got the color i changed applied you and saturation over it to change the color to match with this all right then i duplicated that to this so it's having a, a a a blurry effect or a blur effect all right it's called gaussian blur how do i get the gaussian blur click on it come to filter on that blur you see gaussian blur so play around with the parameter that you find there all right that's what i have there then i duplicated it again and i have this other one here so i put it here the same thing this i have it here and i have it here so this one has two different blurs both motion blur and gaussian blur Right, two different blows in one because 
that's what I felt like putting there. All right, then I have a shadow of him. Then he, the boy himself, right in front, seated here. Then I applied a little vibrance on his face to desaturate it. Right, this is what I just desaturated his face a little bit, right? Because I knew I was going to add so much um, gradient map and all of that on it. So I added some levels again to um, um, actually give him some depth to the picture, right? And an ellipse here, just these ellipses are just really for a fizzy, they're not really necessary, but you know, to make your design look very cool then i did a gradient map generally to the overall design all right this is that's this overall artboard not the overall design all right there are two different things there are two different ways to do it you can add a gradient map on the overall design or add it on the different individual artboards or you add it on a particular layer three different ways to do it that will give you three different effects so but for this one i needed it on the whole uh, what do you call it instance so that the color grade is uniformed right because it's what two pictures if you notice here it's just one picture all right so i just need to apply the color grade over just him so but since it's multiple pictures just everything at the same time uh, that works fine all right so this is my gradient map i have the fill at 71 percent opacity at 90 percent then the blend mode at soft light this is what works for me all right then i added what my logo somewhere at the bottom here sitting pretty right then generally speaking i now added what a vibrance this is what i add to give my designs the pop it needs so you're seeing that pop we give all of this just makes the colors richer and better all right so just take a good look at this take a good look at this this is with the vibrance without the vibrance you see how pale is looking with the vibrance you see how rich it's now looking so you have to add it it's just like adding salt and like nigerian see you keep on adding it to your ancestors say stop so that's why i kept on notching my vibrance up till my ancestors told me stop all right so now, now stop at 62 percent right, so dependent on however you want to but don't do it in such a way your design now looks too uh, overly vibrant colorful it makes it not appeal to the eyes again all right so that's that about today's tutorial on how i made this giovanni happy children's day poster thank you very much and see you in the next one